We want, no, we demand a quality screen recorder that is free, has no time limits, has no watermarks, saves videos in MP4 and other popular formats, is easy to use. Well, let me introduce you to three video recorders that fulfill all these requirements. Now, I've done videos on all three of these screen recorders and there are links for them in the description below so you can watch them for more details on each program. Also, there are links in the description for the websites where you can get them. Let's look at these great free screen recorders. Hi, Dennis Ray here. If you like this video, then why not hit like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Okay, thank you. First there is OBS Studio. It's a favorite as a live streamer, but it's an excellent screen recorder. After installing, the first thing you want to do is set up the settings. Uh, before you know how to set up the settings, so you can always look at YouTube videos and there's plenty of information online that will tell you how to do it. But until you learn how to do it on your own, you can go to Tools and hit Auto Configuration Wizard. Then in this window, you can hit Optimize for Recording. And then hit Next. And just follow the prompts. And when it's done, then go to File in the menu and Settings. And in settings, go to output, and uh, under recording format, the default will be FLV. Well, that's a pretty good format to use, but even a more commonly used format is MP4, so you could change it to that. Next thing you want to do is go down to the bottom left and set up your scenes. Now, the best way to explain what scenes are is to show you what I have here. Uh, scene 1 with webcam, scene 2 with webcam without cursor, scene 3 without webcam, scene 4 without webcam without cursor. So it's a way to move from one scene to another without changing settings. If I want to add a scene, I can hit the plus sign. If I want to take a scene out, I can hit the minus sign. Um, after you have scene set up, you want to add sources. So to the right of scenes, you select your scene and then go to sources and then hit the plus sign and then you have your selection of different sources. Uh, your audio input, uh, video inputs, and so on and so forth. And then if you want to get rid of any of those, same thing. You hit the minus sign after you made the selection and then it will get rid of it for you. And if you want to just turn it off temporarily you can see this little eye icon and then just hit that and it'll turn it off or hit it again it'll turn it back on. To the right of sources there is audio mixer where you can turn on your sources for sound if you want the system sounds or from microphone and the way you turn off and on is by hitting the icon for the sound and then to the right of that there are different controls start and stop recording access to settings and exit this is the website where you can download OBS and I'll put a link for this in the description below this is the download link for Windows. And of course, there's plenty of information if you scroll down about the OBS project and how to use the program. I wanted to show you how much computer resources OBS Studio actually uses while it's recording. Uh, right now it is running its recording and it's using about 5% of the computer resources and sometimes it fluctuates a little higher so that actually isn't all that bad for a screen recorder compared to some other screen recorders. Next we're going to talk about Flashback Express a really nice recorder with some nice features. Uh, 
you have your selection of areas, uh, either full screen, region, or window. You can select record from microphone or PC or both at the same time. And webcam. And then we'll look at settings. Uh, we're not going to look at all the settings. There's just one feature I want to show you in settings. And uh, as far as settings go, you can look at my link in the description. In settings, video, change frames per second from the default 8 to 30. Otherwise, you get a choppy look in the cursor movements. Okay, I did a uh, test recording with Flashback Express and now I opened up the recording with uh, the player. Now what it does when you do a recording with Flashback Express it saves the recording in its own format uh, then you play it in its own player and then you can preview it and uh, let's preview it now Okay, we're doing a test run of flashback recording and uh, I'm recording from microphone. Well, at this point, you can see I did uh, recording with the webcam and you can move it around. It had it on the top by default, but I can move it to the bottom if I want it there. And we'll preview it a little bit more. Uh, the screen on my computer monitor and webcam so you can see my beautiful face and uh, you can see that it has a really nice cursor highlighter and shows clicks so it does a really nice job okay so now at this point you can either save it online, uh, send it to YouTube, or export it. Um, if you export it, you can save it in these three different formats. Now I want to save it as an MP4 format, so I'll say OK. And you have these settings that you can peruse through and save as you want and uh, I like them as they are so I'll export it and I'll put it in this as a test in my video file and it doesn't take long at all and it will save it as a mp4 file and also there's a menu tools with all kinds of settings in it that you can change and uh, you can see the video in my description down below and it will tell you all about the settings and the menu. Okay, do you want to view it? No, not right now. You can tell it no. You can close it. Do you want to save your changes? It's asking if you want to save changes to the video format for Flashback Express and no, we don't want to do that. We just want to deal with the video that we had just saved now as MP4. And that is Flashback Express. This is the website where you can get Flashback Express and I'll put a link in the description below. And you scroll down and this is where you download the free version. Let's look at the computer resources that Flashback Express uses when it's recording. And uh, you can see it's using quite a few computer resources. A lot higher than OBS used. Then there is the online screen recorder, a PowerSoft. And there are two websites you can go to to use it. There is either Ace Thinker or the APowerSoft website. And uh, I'll put links for both of these websites in the description below. And the first thing you do is go to the start recording bar, hit that, 
that will prompt you to download a launch application and once you have the launch app installed you can come back to the website and hit the start recording bar again and that will launch the program once it's launched you can either close the website if you want to or minimize it and the recording program will keep running for you in the program window there is the record button start and stop recording full screen recording select a region or there's a down arrow where you can make your selections then there's a turn microphone off and on or you can hit the down arrow to select a system sound microphone or both webcam on or off Ooh, who's that stranger yeah. and with the down arrow if you have more than one webcam you can make your selection which one you want to use account you can sign in to your a powersoft account if you have one and this is handy if you want to upload a video to their cloud server and uh, if you don't do that it will just automatically save the video onto your PC then there is more where we have settings so in settings we have this recording tab and we have some nice features you can select there and then down below you can select which format you want to record in over here is advanced there's a cursor highlighter uh, audio quality where you can make your selections and video settings where you can make your selections and then there's a general tab where you can make uh, some keyboard shortcuts and where you can select where you want your video to be saved in your PC and let's go back to the recording tab and this is a nice feature for a PowerSoft recorder uh, you can show recording toolbar so if we select that and when you hit recorder then you get this toolbar and if you hit the pencil icon this brings up the different tools that you can select so for different tutorials you can uh, select this for uh, squares, circles, lines, arrows, uh, paint brushes, text, you can change colors, make these dots, yeah all kinds of nice things and this is really unique for a free video recorder so let's see what kind of computer resources a powersoft online screen recorder uses compared to the other two and uh, right now it's recording and you can see it's using a bit more than obs and less than flashback express so that's not bad that's an introduction to three really great free screen recorders please like and comment below subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos if you click my name below you can see other videos i've done that may be of interest to you thank you for watching see you